Mark and I were met at the Hilton Madrid Airport Hotel for our tour of Madrid by Quentin Oligari, General Manager for Cuoni Destination Management Company worldwide. You'll find Cuoni no matter where your travels take you. Cuoni is very well known for its quality and so we are a quality driven company. We do cater for all nationalities. We have a multinational staff base ourselves so we have some of the benefits that we can speak the natural languages to all our clients whether it be Asian, English speaking, Italian, French, Latin etc. Madrid is a very historically imperialistic city. It has had a very rich history in its royal past. A lot of this history is reflected today with statues, with monuments, uh, with avenues and with street names. And we can find in Madrid many monuments which reflect the rich history of Spain. Cervantes was one of them. Cervantes was the uh, writer who wrote Don Quixote um, and he is remembered very fondly in the Plaza de España which is uh, the square of Spain with a beautiful monument dedicated to him and to one of his best works of arts, which was Don Quixote. The Plaza de Oriente is very well known for its gardens and its restaurants and the Royal Theatre and the Royal Opera House. Right in front you have the Royal Palace and the beautiful statues that you see around these gardens are actually all representing the uh, lineage of royal uh, rule in Spain going back to the Roman times and these statues used to be fixed on top of the palace, the royal palace. Next to those royal theater, you've got uh, Verdi's uh, house where he lived and the claim to fame during six months where he composed some very important compositions. Next to the royal palace, you also have the cathedral of Madrid, which is called the Almudena. It is the largest church that we have here in Madrid, but obviously is considered as a cathedral, and was the last cathedral which was inaugurated by John Paul II. In Spain, every city and village has a main square. Here in Madrid we have a beautiful square called Plaza Mayor, which dates back uh, to approximately the 14th century, which has been used extensively in its history for not only social gatherings, but also marketplaces, corporal punishments, bull rings, bull fights. Today it's used mainly as a terrace for its bars and restaurants and tapas areas. The gastronomy is one of the most important aspects not only for its visitors to Spain but certainly for the locals. Best ham of the world. Jamón jamugo. Jamugo ham which... Uh, Pata negra. The, uh, Hay el profesional cortando jamón. The animal eats Spain is very well known as one of the main entry points from America and today has extremely good links, airline links that is, from the United States. There are some very important airlines that fly directly into Madrid and many other cities in Spain. We would like the American population to discover more in Spain and use a company like ourselves, Quinny Destination Management, to really come into the authenticity of what Spain can offer in both its history and its avant-garde future.